all right what is up guys it is your boy will back with another video today and in this video i will be talking about three different stocks okay so i'll be updating you guys on all three of these stocks and um i decided to put them just all together save time and that way you only have to watch one video for all three instead of clicking the multiple videos okay so the first one will be blackberry stock ticker symbol bb the next one will be sin stock ticker symbol s-e-n-s -E and the third one will be amc stock amc entertainment amc entertainment holdings so that would be the three stocks i'll give you i'll go with old levels give you new levels on all three stocks and also updating you guys on how i plan to play them now the first one on blackberry stock like i said i wouldn't make any video until i start seeing some movement okay we got that movement okay so right now since this movement happened there is a new level let's zoom in so at this level i told you guys there could be a little fake buying pressure here and as you can tell it's kind of acting as a support okay the level i gave was 1285 and you can tell it's just kind of just trading all through here right like i said i don't think there would be any buying pressure here but maybe it would have been like a fake little push okay so if we drop down to around a five minute you probably get a little better um example of it so it came down see a little fake push came back down try to go up again down up down has some more fake so like i said not really any buying pressure um at that level there is one main level that i'm looking at for buying pressure and that is at uh let's see that is at around here for twelve dollars okay so this is really the main level i'll be looking to buy more shares right now for uh blackberry stock ticket symbol bb so we can take this level off okay so the main level right now is twelve dollars but we also have one more resistance level above price which is around 13.59 okay so you want to watch this level 13 right here so 13.59 around 1360 you can just average it you want to watch for some resistance around here so try not to buy in this area because as it comes up right it'll probably sell off you could probably get the shares at a cheaper price point okay so this is a new resistance level that i see right now the buying level is at this 12 dollars for the main buying level that i'm looking at because the stock does look a little weaker as it's falling softer okay not really showing any buying higher but just kind of falling softer as you can tell there's more resistance than buying okay so just be mindful main buying level twelve dollars resistance level 1360 1359 and these are main two lows right now that i see current price is uh, gonna hit okay so if it hits here wait for that sell off probably buy more there and if it comes here i see that buying pressure i'll buy more here okay so again make sure in that buy and sell signals if you want to know what i'm buying and sharing i mean buying and um selling for options and shares first link in the description and is also pinned in the comments okay so make sure you get in on that now that was your update on blackberry stock so really still waiting but these are the main two levels i'll be watching out for okay next stock is send stock ticker symbol s e n s okay now key levels on send stock let's see we'll go over the old levels first okay so this is a resistance level still active 435 so still watch this as price might come back higher try not to get shares in this area because you will see a sell-off just like the blackberry one and then you could probably get shares at a cheaper price point okay so be mindful of that level let's zoom in so be, this is still active support level this is a weaker support as you can tell it's a little thinner right because i thought it might break as you could tell it came up and acted as a resistance right can you see that acting as a resistance so the support level is gone now this green level hasn't really done anything as well kind of still like pushing as a resistance and this was trying to yeah it really didn't yeah see it's still pushing as resistance so that level has done this level was a buying pressure level that i wanted to see some buying at as you can tell boom hit it perfectly 
Like I said, you're not want to miss these key levels. And if you want to know how to find these key levels, make sure you get the stock market options crash course. It's available now. First link in the description. And it's also pinned in the comments. OK, the crash course will help help you better understand the markets and how to trade them. OK, so buying level I had at 352. What were the lows? The low would come right here. Low 352, low 352, low 352, buying pressure. Boom. OK, that right there just showed you there's about to be buying pressure and it did happen. Now, what was the percentage of that? It's only about 6%. So that could have been a nice little scout play within the day. But I'm trying to get over uh, a longer term type of hold for this stock. But did show a little buying pressure overall week. Came down below it again, but came back above it. When it came back down, what happened again? Buying pressure. The low, 352. Low, 352. So this right here is shorter term bullish. Okay, this is shorter term bullish. So you do want to see how it acts tomorrow, but I think it has been hit enough. So what we would do is we'll actually remove it. And I'll be looking around 345 now. So 345 is right here. This is where I'll be looking at now to see a buying pressure. Because that buying level did not show, it had some buying pressure, right? But the buying pressure I'm looking for is to take it higher, like above $4 and for it to start going higher to around that resistance level around here, right? Because from this entry to that exit, that's around 26% gain, okay? So I'm looking for this type of scout play and send stock, okay? Bigger portion is just 6% out of this. Okay, so resistance level 435, buying level 345, and this is really the main two levels that I'll be looking at right now. So really, as this stays in between here, unless price moves differently and I see a new buying level, this would be the main levels that I'll be looking at for buying and then selling. Okay, so that was your update on send stock. Now AMC. So AMC key levels right now. This was a buying level. And this is a support level support level still active we'll keep this here just in case the stock falls i do want to see price kind of hold out here kind of like this right trading up and down up and down kind of want to see that at this support level okay so watch that support level that support level is around 50 dollars now this buying level at 53.45 i did get the um, alert today i set an alert for whenever it hit so i can look at it but i did not see any buying pressure look at it acted more as a support okay so if we drop down to the five minute, again, if you want to know when I'm buying and selling, the buy and sell signals is now available. First link in the description and is also pinned in the comments for buy and sells on options and shares. So you came down, look where it stopped, key levels, okay? So don't miss a video, buying pressure, shot it higher. I was not confident about this because of how fast it came down, okay? So I wasn't really confident about that and good thing I wasn't. That just shows you this. This just comes with experience. OK, drop, drop lower. Right. So good thing it did not buy up here. Drop lower. That's why I say you want to be in the buy and sell signals. And the stock crash course is also available now to help you better through the markets. First thing in the description. And it's also pinned in the comments. So drop down below the buying pressure. And as you can tell, acted as resistance, came back, tried to come uh, reject it again to go higher, but failed. Come back resistance. And then finally went back above it. So this isn't really any type of buying pressure. So we'll take this level off. This more it was more of a support. So let's go back out to the 30 minute. Okay, so still a support. Resistance level around 59. Uh what is it? I would say around 59 even is a resistance level that I see close to price, close to the current price. So I'll make this one a little thicker. So this is the resistance level I see right now. So as price comes up here, try not to get shares in this area because you could see some selling pressure and fall back down. And you could probably get them at a cheaper price, okay? So resistance level, $59, support level, $50. And between here, I'll be looking, uh, what did it close at, 55.18? It's up a little bit. So I'll be looking at around 56, around 5610. So where is that at? That's up here. So around 5610, 
Let me see if I can get it. Uh, right here. So around 5610, for this level to be active, it'll need to open above it. Okay. We need this. We need to open above it. What would be very fantastic if it opens above it, right? Trades up, comes to this resistance level, falls back down to this buying level within the same day. And then if I see buying pressure there, I'll be more comfortable buying here after I saw resistance here. Okay. That just be a better setup for price to go higher. So this is a really uh, the way I'm trying to play AMC for tomorrow. Um, I do hold shares. I have not sold any shares, so I'll be holding. But I am looking to buy more shares around this 56 level, 10, 56 dollar 10 cents level, depending on how it moves within here. Okay, so that's why I say you make sure you're buying sell signals, and you can also get the stock market options crash course to help you better throughout the markets. It has everything from knowing what options to pick, what what knowing what options not to pick how to day trade, swing trade, how to trade in bullish markets, bearish markets, all that key information is in the stock market options crash course. First link in the description is pinned in the comments. I hope you guys like this style of putting all three of the video, uh, the stocks together, like for the last video, just so you guys don't have to watch multiple videos. It's just easier to just watch this one video through. So make sure you guys smash the like button. Let's get this video over 50 likes. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all love on the channel. And always remember, not just recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in these videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.